Uh, oh, but they're live right now? No, I actually called into this stream. Oh, shit. Which is fine, but I forgot to lock my cam door. I meant to lock my cam door when I called. Hey, guys. I was just wondering how you feel working with a man who uh, calls people's grieving families about their uh, dead relatives. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my opinion about that. I, well, Jimmer knows. I told him about that. I told him I don't agree with it. You know, that was shitty, but that I, bitch got real vocal about that. Uh, let me tell you about that uh, real quick. Uh, Look at that. And this is what happens. Watch this. She will be doing unbleached in like two weeks because they get kicked out of the Jimmer and Am empire yeah. like Glista. And then they come in here. And then they bitch about it. And for the scorecard for the manager, this is Audrey to the uh, Italian uh, she male or whatever you called her. Audrey to the this how it works. This is the he's still speaking. Yeah, we can hear you. Who is the kid? Who is the one? It was the other one that had the eight-year-old grandmother. Uh, that was Audrey. No, one in the same. One in the same. The, the oh the, shit, the man! Tranny. The tranny is getting shit on today, man. I hope you don't mind if uh, clickbait sits in for the bonus show. Sure, Here's man, what I course. get: the so like her fan, the person's family was okay with them getting a sex change, but they're not okay <laughs> with them just showing it off to people. Having it wink, you know. Wink. That webcam. seems a little weird. Anyway. Hey, what happened with Joe Booney? Uh, was there a scheduling uh, issue? Did he flake out? He was sick. He he uh, he like uh, he did his own show, and he goes, I don't know, like. You know, guys are like setting things up, and I don't know if it's real or not. And I'm like, Joe Boney, listen, everyone loves you. We'd love to have you come in here and talk to Mark Glista about the fucking Chicago Blackhawks and all that good shit. They're not playing. Just come on in. Who cares? Whatever fucking dub bears, whatever fucking shit team plays at Soldier Field. I wanted to tell Unbleached, uh, congratulations on getting your show back. Uh, I never it's doing, lost I it. like it. I like the uh, the new format. It's working good. Well, thank you. No problem, man. And you guys touched on the Richie Ross thing. Now, that would be one hell of a fucking performance art. I mean, that guy, he's too quick to be a fucking fake, right? Oh, is this Jackson's in here? Yeah, it's me. My oh, voice is a little I fucked up. That was Webster Tarpley putting on like a different voice. <laughs> no, my shit's fucked up. I got a sinus infection. Webster Tarpley's still in here, he's professor. Been here. Yeah, he's here. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'm wait. I'm not looking at my screen, so I didn't. I didn't know. Smartphone got real serious tonight. Yeah, he was uh, talking a lot about. Uh, he thinks Ian Ellis um, is a fake. Like that. He's actually there's like another guy named Ian Ellis who's dead. And then the actual Ian Ellis is pretending to be him. Like, it's more Catfish. conspiracies. I wouldn't put that shit past you guys. More conspiracies from uh, Professor Tarpley. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> World Crisis Radio. We should all be listening to it and figuring out what's really going on. Because I'm telling you, what they're telling us on the news is not what's going on. I haven't been checking out the old WCR lately. Hey, Matt, why do you think uh, Sands' show is, like, on the decline? Um, He's... Not discussing anything that's interesting. It, the whole Richie Ross absence is really shaking them up, I think. Uh, the format. He's used to, you know, it's kind of like, not. I don't want to say crutch, but, you know, it's definitely changed. The, the shit's weird now. Well, you know, Kyle, uh, you know. He's got potential. He's become very repetitive. That Here's too, the problem: man. is Kyle is relying too much on the fact that he's drunk and doing the stream. Like that worked originally, but now it's become a thing where it's like, okay, we got you. You have to give us something new. It's like it, 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 it's like Family Guy in like the third or fourth season. It's like, okay, we get it. You're gonna say something was like this thing, and then do a cutaway gag. I, said, like we know the joke now, Kyle. I think he's like a giving us anything new all winter now it's like you know just gonna be like summer kyle the, you know the fucking hoodies off and he's uh drinking and well, the listenership's going down but shooting way. people whatever the the fuck he does. Are getting less and less fucking people because it's the same fucking thing like i said it's like the simpsons season 20 you know kyle i don't know what you need to do but 
You need to find a way. Like we, you know, what we haven't had in a while. I uh, pissing on the floor situation. That just would be need, nice. Just needs a view bot. That would be funny for retro. I like Kyle's show, but to say he's not in a decline is he's in a recession. He needs to put a new. I was actually on. thinking about buying him a view, a view bot and not telling him. Mark Lister and, uh, says the failure is due to the manager. Let's be honest. Okay. Yeah, oh. That's that's why you're in here listening to me? Yeah. You salivate at every word. You know it, Mark. Mark Lister, join the he's Discord. Been talking, he's been talking about me the entire time, about how he wants to see me and Donna fight. It's like, okay. That's done. Yeah. Donna has his own show. Yeah. Donnie can go do his own fucking... That's what yeah. I get. If he has his own show, why does he come in here? He also sits and reads chat. It's uh, it's kind of boring material. Cigar yeah, it's like, Glista, just fucking go do your own show and sell some more fucking pills. Yeah, you pill hit. And then watch. He'll come in here and he'll have the same six fucking lines. I'm trying I to... Thought, go, I, gotta I thought Mark Glista was Dan a bus driver. E. Ross out of here. The fucking pharmaceutical... Danny stuff. Ross is... Taking credit for the fall of Kyle. Oh. Can I ask a question? Is this real news or is this fake news? <laughs> I, just, I don't I think, know. Is it real news or we're going to go into this thing again? I can get into this thing again with your your, your fascination with the fucking guy who real rips off news. a dead comics act. I don't. We can get into it. Do you, okay, you, you see what I'm fucking saying? You see what I'm saying? He says so. So, so, so the Chicago open micer. Is it doing Mitch Hedberg fucking style comedy? Oh, I see what he's saying now. That's not what you said before. You're just too stupid to understand that fucking reference. Because that's no, how stupid no, 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 you no. are. I'm saying, listen, professor, you had your chance to speak. Let me retort. You've, You've had said. your chance to speak. You've had your chance to speak. You just repeat no, the no, same no, shit this about Mitch, the bitch head, Mitch Hedberg fucking ripoff guy, open my comic. Who sits there with his wife, writes a couple of jokes, reads it on stage on a stool, and you guys are promoting it because it's a goof. You and you get a guy. You get a guy. I, 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 I think I'm going to go do an open mic over here where I live, and I will film it, and I'll do Mitch Hedberg jokes. I think I'll get more laughs than your fucking dude. But nah, I think that'd you know be hilarious. It's just a yeah, try it out. It's just a pot. It's just a pot, and I won't do it. But you are executing this. You're wasting time because you, it's for the for goof. You're doing your whole. Your, you're doing your whole fucking. You know, why don't you start wrestling women? Listen, you're gonna really be doing. Listen, if you're really ripping listen, off another listen, dead listen, comics listen, thing listen, where you're trying to do the goof, why don't you start wrestling women, Ian Ellis's manager? I think you should. I think you should wrestle women. And you can the Ian Ellis. Yeah, Howard Stern even wrestled women. Let's go for the whole nine yards, Ian Ellis manager. Do the intergender you know wrestling competition. You can go to instead of doing open mics, you can challenge women for wrestling. You can wear a belt, comedian. You can you, you can go down to Tennessee and Jerry the King Lawler is still alive and maybe you can wrestle him and maybe you can go to David Letterman's new fucking uh what, new fucking show you can do that it's for you can you can do that I mean let's just rehash everything you're trying to rehash you know as manager let's just do it the smartphone dead comment really like to offer you're, 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 you're rehashing you. you're rehashing Hedberg <laughs> right for you you're re, re, you're the man on the moon. You're, you're, you're just too you're just too fucking esoteric for us to understand your comedy, right? You want to wrestle women, you want to become intergender champion, you're and you're going to drop references about stuff you see on the internet. This is the modern day uh, intergender champion here manager, right? I mean, that's what you do. And you got two guys, maybe three guys who think it's thinks it's funny. I don't know what it is. But you're funny you're talking about camp wars. You're circle. talking about a guy who does Mitch Hedberg or maybe you're wrestling fucking intergender stuff. I don't know. What are you doing? The smartphone. What's funny to you, buddy? I mean, you know. He didn't certain, even answer the question. Yeah. I offered certain him. Certain things are just funny. The exclusive uh, well, comedian. I'm doing exactly what you do. It's a, it's a parody, you fucking moron, of what you usually do. You go it's on true. Hominem about shit. That's true. Right? That's what you do. You go on ad hom you know what that means, right? Ad hominem. You did get a degree from fucking the University of fucking Toronto Berg and fucking uh Toronto fucking communications Berg. or something, right? 
No, I'm I commenting him about shit. Him off for you. And that's what you and do. And when somebody does it back to you, you're too stupid to realize you're being mocked, Ian you Ellis, manager. You're be being Ian mocked. Ellis in your territory, huh. and you can play him. You're, you're, I you, want to franchise this out. That was my dream. Him. You could do it your way. You're slurring Canadian I can like to, type of way. I can do this. I you can, am. You can come in. Where do you just answer this? I you can do? make just where ad hominem comments about a where do you fucking comic who's the Chicago what open micer. I challenge any woman in the bar city to a wrestling match. That has I, over 500, I have dollars. no idea what this is. That's what doing. you do. You're ad hominem. 500,000 you people, hominem that's your territory. Instead of Ian right. Ellis' right. manager. Let's start talking about I, the cameras. I want to work with everybody. If Jim Renam wants to be the Ian Ellis Jim in the Bakersfield territory, he's more than welcome. He can be the Ian Ellis of the Bakersfield Territory. He can be now, Jim Ellis. I'm willing to work with now everyone. You're, now you've slipped into uh, doing uh, some funk. I, I appreciate the AWA. I want I to be. We want, listen, I, I, I think what you're doing right here. now, doing the wrestling. I want talk. Ian Ellis. I, I, Stand you know, comedy. Not many people on know every corner in America. Hulk Hogan, That's Hulkamania started in the AWA in Minnesota. That's all I did. <laughs> Ellis Wrestling comedy bombs. on every corner in you know, America. That's, that's, I could do the same shit you're doing. It's not that intelligent. You know, I could do your same fucking shtick. It's not that smart. It's not clever. And it's well, not then clever. tell me where you live so I can give you the exclusive rights to the territory. Uh, and that's all I want to do. Me. Listen, you said <laughs> you could do it. Right. I'm it's off. Like you, you said no, no, no. Manager, you some said you could do it. I want to give you the Mitch job. Hedberg, dead comic, material stealing you're dude. Smartphone like, is hired. How long did it take you Smartphone's to scour hired. the internet to run over across you, Ian Ellis, and him ripping off Mitch Hedberg? But you thought it'd be great to act like you're the intergender title holder and. Bring it on and start promoting him as the manager. Comment. I, I, now he's going to do his thing where he, uh, oh, I took the phone call and uh, I stepped away from my computer. I was. I was I was giving more E and Ellis exclusive rights to other territories. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was. I'm sorry. I, I, There's I, other I, people wanting to be E and Ellis. They're saying, city. Why are you making so much noise? Is that are you the intergender wrestling Manager champion up there? Wrestling Jew. women are your fucking room. Mark Glist isn't here. He wants a piece of that uh, Canadian ass. Here it comes. Hey, no, Mark Lister, smart you can be the Ian Ellis in your territory too. I'm offering those rights. <laughs> no, 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 you want to be no, Ian Ellis in the no, Boston no, area? No, 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 no. I'm willing to give you from. Listen, Matt, I'm going to give make you a deal because you've been good on this show. You're great. Thanks, man. All of New England. That's my offer to you. You can be Ian Ellis there officially. All of New England. For free, right? I don't have to pay a franchise fee. Absolutely not. Absolutely cool. not. We do all the promo. We set, we can set up all the gigs. It's your territory. You work it. Done. Fuck it. All of New England as a token of our new business relationship. Do I get the fedora? Absolutely. <laughs> Accessories. You get the shaved head. You get the psychotic glasses. You get the extra 30 pounds. You get everything. The kid, even the kid. Does you that get, get a kid? Yeah, we supply you with a baby. There you go, man. You get the whole thing. What about the fast food job that your other client has to survive? Absolutely. You get the fried chicken sling job at a Boston market of your choice. No, KFC. No, no, no. This is not a... You know, this doesn't work any fried chicken job. It'll be at a Boston market of your choice. I think Ian Ellis dropped here. Whatever Boston Market is closest or most convenient to you, Mark get Lister, you there. Mark Lister just said he thinks uh, Ian Ellis dropped you. Ian Ellis dropped you? No, we're ex it's a franchise, dummy. It's called expanding. Uh, People that stay in the same territory die. It's called manifest destiny. It's the reason. You know, you know, know a liar. American terms West for Canadian. of the Mississippi has been settled. The entire west of the Mississippi will all be Ian Ellis comedy. Mark Lister. Like Mark Lister. What's gayer, fucking 
eating a guy's asshole or having a guy fuck you in the ass? Comment. They're both very gay. Ah, okay. Well, whatever. You can't pick one. Oh, it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> what's worse, a fake Mitch Hedberg or Ian Ellis? It's sort of the same Manager, thing. Manager, are you going to talk more about the, uh, the lucky plucker that Ian Ellis works at because it's like some fake shit you're coming up with. So some fucking chicken belt. joint. Wait, you wait, Chicago, wait, 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 the lucky plucker. GTA fucking lucky plucker. Ian Ellis works at the lucky plucker and he's on the fucking GTA fucking thing. <laughs> he thinks of all the things that say he thinks the fried chicken thing is a lie. It's like a battle royale. Hang on, give me give me one second with this guy. I don't oh, care. Yeah. <laughs> I love truth Professor about Tarpley. Ian Ellis, Professor some guy Tarpley. who's doing Mitch Hedberg's material, and I I do think you should wrestle and become Andy Kaufman. Maybe you know you can get on. You can make yourself famous. You could. You're doing his shtick, right? You're trying to be like this. Fucking all oh, the, I'm I'm all the conspiracies. I'm cringe. Ian Ellis. Oh. You, you you go on Andy <laughs> Kaufman is the Andy one. Kaufman is he what they should call you. Boys. Ad hominem Andy Kaufman. <laughs> ad 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 Kaufman. Ad hominem Kaufman. Something. That's what you are. You know what I think at best. It's good. He's comedy. a scab co-host. A semi parasite. But you can watch the feather fly yeah, who, who with the lucky that? plucker from Marvel Mineral. Be, be how about this? We're Mark? just here hanging out. There's only one host favor. of this show. It's it's Matt. There's nobody who's Webster. a co fucking Webster, host. Webster, can I talk to Mark? I'm trying to make a business deal here. Mark, I will give you territory of Gary, Indiana. This is why. This is why. This is why. This is why I cut you no slack. This is why I cut you no slack. Okay, you're not a dumb man. Okay. Okay. Your your heel turn. Gary Indiana is a hot and up and coming market. Mark, you would know that working. You've been calling me out all night. Why would you want me on your team now? You've been calling me out all night. You've been waiting we for are me. Calling you. I'm listen, here. Now listen, you want to give me Gary Indiana? Ellis Syndicate in Bakersfield. You want to give Why me all of the Jackson guys 5? In the general area run the Gary Indiana. I mean, Chicago is what, 8 million people. It's going to be very hard for Andrew, one Ian Ellis. Do you we listen to Ian Jim Ellis Cornette's Ellis. fucking goddamn <laughs> podcast? Is that what it is? You're talking about the territories and shit. I mean... Real we pop, need a new pilot on every fucking corner. Smartphones That's dropping the stick. America he, he, great again. This is the real talk. We have an Ian Ellis on every single corner. That's my dream for the future. Like Ian Ellis doing stand up on that? every single but, corner but in America. Manager, but manager, let's let's talk about something, okay? You're trying to recruit people to fill territories that you don't own, which is really and, and clever. You don't own them. Yeah. I can't. It's called an exclusive too character. High. That's what franchising is. Franchising is if you I open a Starbucks, you can open one up. Wait, wait, are these? Are there's are a no wrestling fucking territories. Are these uh, the lucky plucker fucking territories? From That's right. He's talking about franchises. No, you shouldn't be talking about franchises. One at a time. Trust law. It. Like Mark, you work in sales. You should know a thing or two. About the competition. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. You should stick the French fries and leave the franchises to other people. Whoa. Burn. Mark. Gary, Indiana. The value of that territory is going up with gentrification. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be a booming territory. You're going to wish in three years if you don't jump on this, (laughs) you're going to be... You're going to be behind. He's right about that. I know he doesn't work in sales. I'll tell you that. That's a weak work. That's sales. a weak work in franchise. <laughs> That's a weak pitch, bro. That's but a weak CEO. pitch. <laughs> I'm CEO. What do you run, Mark? What do you run? I'm a CEO, chief executive officer. Okay, I don't do the regular work. I am only coming in here to help in our sales department, in our franchising department, because we have been overwhelmed with offers and responses. We've been overwhelmed. I have Dude, you, and, do you and the illustrious Jackson Joe Brady, Pollock is in charge of scouting. He's been pulling triple shifts. Mark, be honest. Have you watched an episode of Joe Booney? 
have no clue how I would even find him. I've heard a lot about him. Well, he burnt me as a guest, so he's dead to me. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess when I start seeing Joe Booney bumper stickers, I'll I'll figure out how to tune in. You will. Joe Booney is is a Mandela effect. Joe Booney, fuck up. That's what Joe Booney is. He's the Mandela effect. I've heard about him. I don't remember, but we all have a collective memory of it. Mandingo effect. Getting fucked in the ass. I think that Mark. I think the- Mark. Yeah, go ahead. Gary, Indiana to Notre Dame. That entire stretch. Fuck you. It's an off. Okay, then what? What? What is? Where would you like to work? Mark? I want to like- piss on Ian Ellis's post. I want Chicago. This. How about this? Oh, I'll geez. give you Juliet. Illinois. How about that? I'll give you nothing. I want Chicago. I want to go head to head with Ian Ellis. You're number one. Well, how about we do a deal? Cocktail to cocktail. The White Sox have half the city and the Cubs have the other half. You guys could just I, Am I the only one who thinks this is so meta that fucking Ian Ellis' manager is doing some kind of the founder fucking thing with his territories or he's franchising? Yeah. And the fucking Galissa sounds like Ray Kroc? Do you want the North <laughs> or the South Side? We'll split, just like the Cubs and White Sox. Capone had the whole thing. I you can't the have the whole thing, Mark. That's unrealistic. <laughs> Al Capone couldn't have the whole thing. You think you could? Come on now. What's Ian Ellis doing in the territory for you right now? Ian Ellis is on the road. I think you're on the ropes. What's Ian, Ian Ellis doing? Ellis, I'm territory? on the ropes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who do you think is doing Des Moines, Iowa? Ian Ellis. I don't want Des Moines, Iowa. Leave yeah. him in Des Moines, Iowa. I want Chicago. The whole thing. <laughs> then where's Ian yeah. Ellis going to go? Ian Ellis is Chicago open mic. Ian Ellis can is. move back in with his, with his mother. Hoffman for Estates. Can. You will have Hoffman Estates. You can have the Allstate Arena, whatever they call it now. You know way too much about the United You can have I don't even think you're a fucking the Canadian. entire parking lot. How do you know how do you know what a fucking little tiny arena in Rosemont is called? He's on Google Maps right now. Yeah, yeah. Anyone can access the information. You can have the entire all state arena and parking lot. Another man's manager. You're a man's manager. That's what I do. Stop. Have you be your own manager? Right? Mark, just think about this right here. <laughs> you came on with this attitude, and it's fine. It's a business deal. I understand there's going to be a little bit of passion. Look what Matt did. Matt, he sat back, and look what he was offered. The entire New England territory. <laughs> All of it. And I'm talking, Mark, up into the, to the Connecticut-New York border. None of that... Southeast Connecticut's a part of New York City shit. He gets right up to that border. You know what concerns that me? Faggy to, be this, shit. to be this far into the bit, there's a part of you that believes something here. The bit. It's scary. This isn't a I bit. said to you, every street in America, <laughs> every corner, there will be Ian Ellis comedy. Every corner. Land. I'll give you El Paso, Texas. You can have El Paso, and then you can also do the uh, Cuida, the Cuida uh, Juarez, you know, the part that's like part in Mexico. You can have that whole fucking thing. Hey, listen, I'll give you... I'll give you the lower mainland BC, where all the floodwaters and fog is. Hey, that's a great deal. What a smart guy. Well, Mark, you know, you come in with some unrealistic <laughs> off, um, offer. I'm gonna There's give you nothing the- unrealistic <laughs> about knocking your fake Mick Hedgeberg well, what happened? Lansing, Michigan. You, you, you're the you know stand up like after the lug nuts baseball games or whatever. Lug nuts. You can be like uh, Corey Feldman when he gets up there with his angels and he does that. The mascot or something. Shit. They have a team Let's called the Lug Nuts. Let's face it, okay. Ian Ellis couldn't sell fifty fifty raffle tickets at a Cubs game. <laughs> I don't think he's that important to the territory. I think I you this. You need to I, I think not only Mark he could sell. 50 50 tickets. I bet he could sell 50 50 tickets and he could sell more fried chicken than you could in one fucking game. How about that? How about this? Mark? Got you there, Mark. You Lay deal, the money Mark? down. You deal? Here's the deal. You can do a double header. Ian Ellis does one game. I guarantee he sells more fucking 50 50 tickets. How about that? Lay the cash down. How about that, Mark? I know you know all about double heads. I know you know all about double heads. 
and it's you probably bad. do like chicken, okay? But that's no oh, deal. Oh, is that a nigger I joke, Mark? Is that why? You're getting racial now? No, it's a fag joke, which means <laughs> I'm talking about you. Nah, Mark, you like to get racial. Just just say you hate niggas because you're a greasy Italian. Just say it. You know what? You're lucky you even get to say that because you're on American Airways. Up in Canada, they'd lock you up for nigga, that. Nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? How dare what are you? What you going to do, Mark? Hurting. What am I going to do? Hurting our one what are you black do? viewer's feelings. You're going to get that. I'll tell you what you're going to do, Mark. You're going to get on that Chicago very territory. Indiana territory. You're you going to start hitting up them clubs. You're going to start making us some motherfucking money. You better get on stage. You're breaking into your black eggs. We are going to. We are going to also be doing. By the way, we're also doing a Gallagher act. So if you don't <laughs> want to do Ian Ellis all the time, we're going to mix it up with Gallagher. You're going to be hitting watermelons <laughs> with a giant sledgehammer. Are you just going to try? Are you going to try every big single act? Big chocolate milk one jugs, works? Mark. You keep. I want to give you a big you fucking couch, over, a big purple couch. Shut the fuck up. The size of a bus. Shut the fuck up. Here's what we're going to do, Mark. Here's what we're going to do. You know, Gary and Nana, it's going through some gentrification. We're going to knock down one of those old steel plants, and we're just going to build the couch, build the ring of seating around the couch. It's going to be 360 degrees. Like the one from Nick at Night? It's about 10,000 people to start. That's what we're thinking. Sounds cool. And you can just be Gallagher in there, and then when you don't want to be Gallagher, you come in, you're Ian Ellis. How about that? I think you think too much. I want all of Chicago, take it or leave it. And no, you're, well, you're not getting that. I offered you Gary, Indiana, and a chance to be Gallagher, someone with HBO and Showtime specials. Something you can't say for yourself, Mark. Yeah, but your Mitch Hedberg you can didn't become work out. Gary, Why do you think your Gallagher act is going to work out? You can become Gallagher. Ian Ellis sucks. Wouldn't you really have an act that's going to work? You can Chicago? become Gallagher and Ian Ellis. They're merging. See, Mark, I can't expect you to understand business, but there's a thing called acquisitions and mergers. That's what happens in corporate. And you're not acquiescing anything, nor are we merging. I thought this was about French fries. Get this through your head, you. Get this through your head, you <laughs> Jew motherfucker, you. You only exist out here because of me. That's Thanks. the only reason. Without me, you, you personally, every <laughs> fucking wise guy still around, I'll take a piece of your fucking Jew ass. That's probably the best part of that whole movie. It makes me realize my yeah. place in life. The best part of the movie is when you got told the fuck off. It's very anti-Semitic. You understand? You the best part of the movie is like, fucking You can do Salt Lake City. I don't give a fuck if you want Utah. I'm sure those Mormons would love a little Ian Ellis up in their life. I mean, I think about it. The only thing they got out there is fucking BYU football and the fucking Utah Jazz. You're running well, out of Ian steam. Up in their You're running out of steam, dude. You're running out of steam. I'm not it's running Chicago. out of steam. I'm offering you territories. It's Chicago. It's Chicago or nothing, big fella. You don't think the fucking first people that owned, say, like a Little Caesars, you don't think they would have wanted to get in on the ground floor in Detroit? Maybe Want to get on the ground floor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking Mark, about We're only 75% sold. There's still 25% of territories left. If you want to take Milwaukee all the way up, you know, to like Lake Superior and shit, all the way down to Gary, Indiana, you can have it. I'm just saying everything in the Chicagoland area, the suburbs, that's Ian Ellis. You can have from Milwaukee to Gary. I'm willing to offer it to you at a great price. Play that clip again, so far. This is getting all. How about this? I'm not playing clips. How the heck does a 52-year-old over-the-hill milkshake machine salesman build a fast food empire with 1,600 restaurants <laughs> in 50 states, five foreign countries, with an annual revenue of in the neighborhood of $700 million? One word. Persistence. Yeah. Oh, shit, I was wrong. Smartphone with the it's up to you, Mark. With the, with the I'll take all of Chicago. Have a good deal, man. I'll take all of Chicago, or I'll fight your Ian Ellis in the streets. Well, why don't you do that then? You can fight him in the streets. Guess what we got? We got Gallagher's fucking mallet. So maybe you might want to watch yourself. I think you ate all the watermelon, though. You slim fucker. That is so racist. He is yeah, partial no. black. For a guy who bitches about the racist jokes, he has no problem. 
with his, uh, you know, making his nigger jokes. <laughs> you know, who, who, made that, who made that racist? I just said you ate all the food. Because you, <laughs> you said it's a it person of, of biracial descent, so you're racist. Calista, you were so racial. Like skin black people. You, you did mention fried chicken as well. He's fine, Mark. He's, fried chicken. I'm a He's a fucking dork anyway. You can be as racist as you want as long as you're doing it in the Ian Ellis name. You know what you should do? You should go to the embassy tomorrow. <laughs> Go to the American Embassy in Canada and just tell them, please, let me let me go somewhere that matters. Please, Man, matters, please. I'm sick and tired. Why do you care about Canada? You you, you all because I don't even Canada think you're. Shit. I don't even think you're. Because you're, you're out of material. You know you're finished. I'm not you out of material. To go I to I started I'm yet, here offering you deals. I'm here wheeling and dealing. You want Atlantic City? You can take it. We've got the old Trump Hotel. Nucky Tom. The Trump Hotel. Please, please find God. the scene. Please it's find the scene. Please find the scene in the movie where I go to the banker and tell him I want my fucking money back. Okay? Listen, that's all. Can we get back to the camos? I think we've offered... I mean, Mark, I don't know how many other ways to yeah, make you the off camos. from Gary, Indiana. Prime yeah. territory. Okay? It's coming up in the market. Nice central time zone. Still well within the Chicago, you know regional limits i'm offering it to you at a great price chicago, i'd love to get back to these cam i think i want my money back so we doing cam hose or what you know what i'm gonna tell you something oh There's god again with you the way a man treats the elderly and women Tell you a lot about it. Oh, again, another Jimmer and fucking line. Now you ran, off, yeah. you ran off Richie the Ross. He treats the elderly and women. Are you the That's elderly right. or the woman? Neither, yeah. which is why I'm dealing with you right now, you fat fuck. Listen, you ran off Richie Ross. It's bad enough. You should be banned in the lower 48 already. I Richie Ross Richie wasn't Ross. an elderly man. Do you even know man. what's going on with him? Do you know what's going on with him? I heard it was a beef. I heard it was you and him. I heard it was Yeah, that's actually boxing. not what happened. Let's just say Richie's moving on to some much greener pastures, some much bigger shows yeah, that he, you all know well. It's so called Jesus maybe and you should in heaven. Shut the fuck up. Maybe you should not fucking talk. Nah, you're your full ass. of shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Whoa. I'm not going to talk about it because I was asked not to. You I'm mean the manager's to. full of shit? I didn't know that. <laughs> And then all this picking on women, are you really? All I mean, this pick, oh, more Jimmer and Am shit. I thought everyone was equal now, Mark. I thought it was everyone's equal. So no, what that's in your country. What does it matter if it's a woman? Everyone's equal, Mark. Women's liberation, Mark. What Feminism, is it yeah. I like the fact that Commander Donnie Ross Dog still hasn't figured out push the thought. Yeah, fuck him, dude. He's over here trying to be my subordinate. Subordinate, get your fucking shit together. I keep moving him to the waiting room. Manager, I always liked you. I think you're probably an all right guy. But when you ran Richie Ross Oh, off, yeah, sorry, I ran right? him out of town. It was me. That's why I <laughs> There's was nothing all anything. right about the manager. That's I why I was banned from anything. That there's right, anything Mark, all right were. about him. <laughs> don't try to push it in the fucking manager. He's all wrong. wrong. There's nothing I'm right about him. The goddamn button. What Mark, the fuck you is love this me. Shit? I'm okay, because I'm better than you. God I have conspiracy theorists coming up with stories about don't, me. They're not coming the, up with them. How the fuck does button fucking work? What the hell is this Donnie Ross in the background? I'm pressing the button. Professor Webster Tarpley is coming up what with conspiracy the theories about me. Not about you, Mark. Hold you know, the, the button the down. down. What, what way to the shit theories? is this? Fuck. Just call. Who's this guy babbling in the background? Can we get back to the camera? I push the button, and I'm pressing the fucking button. Hello? Hold it down, dumbass. Hello? I'm pressing the fucking button. What a gay asshole. Jimmer's looking at pictures of Steve Aoki on stream. Every asshole is gay. <laughs> Can we get back to Jimmer now? That's what I wanted to talk about. Jimmer scam. We all wanted to talk about Jimmer now. 
Well, Jim what? Renam is gay. <laughs> Ab, see, there you go. He, this guy already gets it. This guy's a human Daniel drop Ross. machine. Yeah, who is that? If you're talking about dick, then you all get it. Good one. Dude, you're about to embarrass yourself real quick. <laughs> who are you? Calista's confident. Danny, you embarrassed you your mother, faggot. I mean, can he replace Ian Ellis in your life? Yeah. Where do you live? Can we sell you a franchise of Ian Ellis? Are you located in the lower California? Persistence in the American dream. The founder here, Ian Ellis, has a a, 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 a pitch for you on his Are you located in, in the local uh, Bakersfield area? If Ian Ellis could get on Jimmer's stream, he'd be trying to franchise him out in the Bakersfield area right now. I know that for a fact. Matt, it's Amy Ross. Ian, man, the Ian Ellis manager with the I had to answer my phone bit or I went out to get something to eat bit. No, I'm here. I was just saying, you know, Mark, last year I was at the franchise so my Expo were in Las Vegas where, you know, all the big franchises, you know, uh, Subway, McDonald's, Burger King, all of them, they're there and it's, uh, it's kind of like an information trade show. Information. And... You know, we were there with our booth, and I found that we have quite reasonable <laughs> rates for franchises. Like, if you want to start a Subway franchise, it's going to cost you $250,000 up front. We're willing to, like, we're selling territories for $175. So apparently, Ian Ellis' manager went to fucking Google. Looked up franchise fees, and now he's ripping on. No, the I didn't. I, I know this guy. The amount of time this, this guy, guy has on his hands is. Amazing. I didn't look that shit up. That's very easy. That's common knowledge. Most franchises are going to cost you at least two hundred fifty thousand. Are you not the rest or something? Depending like on what that? it is. I'm willing to offer you, Gary, Indiana, one hundred seventy-five dollars plus. We want 10% of your gross ticket sales for the first three years. What do you say? Do you realize I could buy a fucking house in Gary, Indiana for 175 bucks? I, I think you can. Awesome. Then, you, then think about it. You can have your house and your business all in one place. You can fucking write that off on taxes. Yeah. Done. Oh, yeah. 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 Gary, Indiana is where Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5 originated. And Michael got some serious beatings with that belt in <laughs> fucking Gary, Indiana. Wow. Mark, I, I come to you wanting to bury the hatch. Your mother would suck dick for ramen noodle soup, What bitch. the fuck? <laughs> Ban him. Ban me like everyone else, you fucking pussies. Think about it. East St. Louis, Mark. All those black people you love so much. You can make him laugh. Pretend to be Ian Ellis. I do love. I do love all black people. I have no problem. No, you don't. No, you don't. You had to stutter to I say that. I get confused. It's Don A. Me. It's Mark Galista. It's this guy, Danny Ross. They all sound alike. I mean, they sound like they're like in the Midwest. Nothing against you, Mark Galista. I respect you, but uh, what's going on? Yeah, I, I've noticed that too. Uh, there was somebody on another show the other day that sounded, I thought they were playing a recording. I thought they actually sounded a lot like me. <laughs> Wow. I guess we don't have that good old fashioned Canadian twang. Are we ever going to get back to the gym and fucking shit? It's what you want. I don't think we should do it because that's what you want. I think it's making you upset. You can't get your gym and fix. It's become like an addiction. I want to have the gym and fix, but you know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you my opinion. That I, well, Jimmer knows. I told him about that. I told him I don't agree whore. with it. You know, yeah. that was shitty. But at the same time, uh, I guess that like, the guy or whatever was attacking um, his kids, and he felt like he had to defend. All right, no one attacked Jimmer Nam's kids. Shut the fuck no one up. told anything about Jimmer Nam's kids before fucking. Uh, he fuck called Jim somebody's kids all day house. Called someone's mom. Hey, wait a minute. Pedo talk. We don't do that here. His family. Oh, what, even though it's not something. Room. We're going to do all kinds of pedo talk. What are you talking about? I don't like that. That's what he's into, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He loves that shit. What are you talking I about? I would never do it. I understand why he does. He knows that 
I think all three of us really don't, you know. Yep. We don't We're on the same page. Jim Renan does not like, like, like you know me. what? I get over things. That was that was some time ago. I think you guys need to get over it too, because really, I mean, you just yeah. Okay. 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 So how, you how is that, you... question? Let me finish. Let me finish. How is I, how I is it to grow kind of and voice understand that if you're that. Con- like you got real emotional, yeah. get over Probably it. Probably because she was touched as a kid. She was. Oh Jesus, you too. Because <laughs> really, I mean, you've you just... never done that. Yeah. So, and... Don't act like when you try to be Ian Ellis. You don't have to go door to door. And post those flyers up. Don't act like there's not a red dot over your house on the internet. Don't act like that shit. Find you territories to do the job. You know what the sick thing is? That was actually pretty funny. What you just said about the red dot. But how you would know that is fucking worse. It was funny. I worked with you. It was funny, but the fact that you've actually the fact that you've actually been on concessions with my workers are fucking convicted pedophiles. What do you want me to do? Hey, yeah, I, think, I think you know more about it than that. But okay. Well, I saw the big Lebowski, and it was in there, so that's how I know about it, man. You sound like the big Lebowski, but yeah, that was good. But yeah, um, I'll give you that one. So you question. Let me finish. Let me finish. How is how so is he supposed that? to grow and understand that if you're constantly hounding him on this and not understanding that you know people are flawed, people make mistakes, people do yeah. things out of passion and anger. Yeah. So that uh, that merits. Oh, it. you know what, Matt? That explains Jessica's teeth. Yeah. Flawed with passion and anger. Yeah, it was just an accident. It manifests in her jaw. Okay, we got not it. Not a big deal. Hmm. I'm sorry. Am, am I being too nuanced for you? And I will oh actually God. like. We just talk about her teeth without you interrupting. I'll ask. I'll answer that too. So here's the thing: okay. um, if I were in the same situation and somebody, you know, was threatening my family, nobody threatened his family. <laughs> Like, That's like, one pull thing up. They all do. It's like when people say, "Oh, we got death threats." Really? My whole Can fucking you show them because they never do. Everything I do is archived. Pull it up where I threaten anybody's family, ever in my entire fucking broadcasting fucking lifestyle. Never <laughs> have I done such a thing. Let alone Jim and them, who doesn't have a family. They all disowned him. Threatening my kids. And there Ross was Dog no even watching another show, I think. What? Danny Ross Dog is watching some other show. No, he just he doesn't know shut up. He's trying to get some attention. We're we're letting him in on the fun. You know? Oh, he's trying to get attention. He's kinda like one of those guys, like Adam from uh Workaholics. I bet he's a little short, cute guy. You know? guarantee that this woman's number was the mother it was just a random number uh you know what he did what he had to do random to take care of number. his family and if i were in the same shoes nobody I would threatened. anyways i would stop at nothing no nobody was threatened he oh, just okay. went out so like a little okay bit after you. Okay, and good. it's okay to go after your family too right so it looks like mark Glister was wrong again look at that yeah, but in one aspect, all that you're hearing right now is the shit that Jim and Am has told them over and it's over propaganda. again. It's propaganda. It's, it's, it's a skewed just like, source. Just like Glista was brainwashed by the JAMA, the Vietnamese are known for their intense interrogation techniques and brainwashing. And their little dicks. Brainwash Glista. Okay. And look what we have now. He's, he's, hey, manager, manager, you can't be serious. Manager, listen. You were brainwashed. Manager, by the enough Nazis. time in a fucking Vietnamese internment camp, it'll fucking make anyone crack. John McCain still has nightmares, man. PTSD. And he's a fucking war hero. Actually, he pa- he crashes plane more than anybody else. What's a Vietnamese so. retirement camp? It's actually retirement camp. <laughs> Yeah, he was retired the whole time he was in Vietnam, <laughs> and they thought he was a prisoner. Right? He basically went on vacation over there. He flew in, landed, stayed at a hotel, and went home. <clears throat> I've actually heard that if you go to Vietnam right now, it's not really a bad place to visit. Mm-hmm. Jim and Am's kids are there. 
They're making um, some Nike shoes. You're a sick fuck, manager. You know that? You really are a sick why, fuck. Why? Wait, wait, wait. That's the thing that, that of all the things we've said. They actually created. I know. Why is this rig- little bitch getting so uppity? They created a rickshaw hey, Uber all, company. Whoever the, guy is, whoever the guy is that wakes up every minute to fucking chime in, shut up. Second of all, manager, what are you talking about his kids for? You don't. I don't hey, even know the guy. You don't even have a beef with him. What do you mean I don't have a beef with him? He just Dante him. Nero. That's plenty of beef for me. He doesn't even know who you are. Yeah, he called You're Dante insane. Nero. He's not Dante Nero. Dante he just Negro. Dante Nero. Manager, if you could get in his Discord and on his show, you would be his best friend in two seconds. I have. It would give you six guy. Very rude and confrontational. Like I said, he disrespected the great Dante Nero. And unbleached. And he disrespected Umbleach and Ian Us and Joe Booney. And my mom. You fuck with Joe Booney. And by the way, Mark Lister, you're all talking about, you're going after his kids. You know, Joe Booney's autistic. And it's okay for Jim and Am to fucking make fun of him. Fuck yeah, we love it's, autistic yeah. people. Maybe you need to look in the mirror and realize you're a fucking hypocrite. No, I'm not. Right. I don't really so get right. I'm not I'm Mark, Mark, autistic kids. Mark. Damn, Mark. you tell them, girl. These kids, kids are autistics. faceless. Nameless people. It's it's just a fucking adjective. It's, a, it's kids. I mean, we Go don't ahead. know who they are. They have no form or fashion. No, no, it's no, no, just no. Joe a kid. Really it's a word. Why does it trigger you when somebody says kids? I've never seen them. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. You know no, what? No, Jim is autistic. autistic. For years. He's specifically talking about the man's children. I know Joe Booney's cousin. Oh, come on. Joe Booney is actually autistic. And Jim and him. Goes on and makes fun of him. You think that's okay? Joe Booney's actually autistic. You know what I don't think is okay? How, how about you answer the question? Mark? Too much. We should get I don't know if I want people I want that are I don't want to hear from you. Working for this company. You already ruined the, the same show. Don't ruin company. this show. When are these two going to fuck? Am I right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not risking a Me Too moment in this company. I take my... You know, position as the CEO very seriously. This guy's voice. And you are either mentally ill or dedicated to the fucking shtick, I'll tell you. Leave Jessica Jade alone. Chris is a recovering addict. Who is? Manager plays Chris on Jim and Am's Discord. I don't know, people are just saying things. Oh, there's no doubt that manager has some persona in every Discord we've ever heard of. What? He's honest. You guys. Know he can't he help is. himself. He's a he's a semi fame whore. Semi. Let's finish this clip. Called somebody's mom. He googled a phone number. Uh, That's cute. I, so he so he got a Google number and nobody even knows if he actually contacted. He googled. Her. He googled. Anyways, it is all hearsay. It is all hearsay whether or not he contacted her or not. But here's the thing: if it were my children, I would stop at nothing to make sure that nobody fucks with my kids Fuck in any children. form or fashion, whether or not it was a fucking public forum, whether or not nobody it was a private forum. Kids, I would make sure. That- I wonder how much he's she's paying, getting paid. You know, but uh, I couldn't get my point across that he Googled an obituary. The guy's a scumbag. And yeah. well, nobody's sure okay, Glister, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's your boy, Glister. He Googled a fucking dead person's obituary to fucking call someone's, you know, grieving family. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, listen, I, I don't think that's right, and I think that you. Listen, he's, he's one of the biggest scumbags saying. on the internet, if you want to know my personal hey, opinion. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, whoever that was. Yep. You know what's great, too, about Glister? Is he was saying the exact yeah, go same ahead. thing about Chairman Mao and Stalin and Hitler. He was going, oh, I don't think that's right, but, you know, I stand by. Uh, I know, I know. They all fucked your mom. Yeah, you know, I stand by my people. You know, Jim, you know, <laughs> Hitler put me on some crazy fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're putting me on some great shows, so I'm not going to say yeah. anything bad. Nothing about the are you Are you cracking yourself up over there, manager? He's high. Leave him alone. 
We're allowed to laugh at our own jokes on Unbleached, you know that? Max, laugh at you, go fuck yourself, Glista. You fucking Nazi. <laughs> Oh, now I'm a Nazi. What so you I'm a racist? Cuckoo, cuckoo, Nazi. Yeah, I'm blind. I cannot see. Cuckoo, cuckoo, Nazi. I'm blind. I cannot see. How many times oh, did yeah. you personally throw in the oven? You know what? I lost, I lost a grandfather at Auschwitz. He, he fell out of the guard Oh, top. the old, that's I've... a great one. We all know that one. No one's heard that. Yeah. The old wait, wait, wait. Joke, right? wait, wait, wait. I had a grandmother once, and she died of a stroke. <laughs> pew, pew. How many dicks was she stroking? Uh, 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 uh. See, that's, that's how children. dumb you fucking hookers are. You just believe everything this Actually, guy says. Actually, we're not hookers. We're camels. Yeah. So if you're going to call his name, I, I think you piss them off when you call them hookers. Triggered. No, I triggered them. It's funny. Is this is this you unbleached on the, um, yeah, on the I phone with them? I stream sniped them. The correct name, yeah, please. Right. Yeah, if you're going to call us dumb, at least be smart enough to know the fucking definition. <laughs> You know, um, I I don't ever believe in involving family, wives, kids, whatever, mothers. I don't care. I don't think I'd have told you for that on air. I've actually called him names. I, I called him an asshole one day. So, but I, but I, and I apologize since, and I uh, you know exactly uh, how I feel. But I don't. That was unbleached, by the way. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Is, that is was that actually his voice? Fake crime? So Someone just went, that was unbleached, by the way. Is Jessica Jade getting like a little emotional yes. in this? Yeah, she uh, she doesn't uh, really. Oh, so she thought of her own kids with fucked up teeth. Oh, tears and come double the fucking fun. Fuck yeah. She thought of her own kids. Oh, see, I'm so oh, he's got the line braces. She was never oh, good. Good man. In all truthfulness, manager, I would think that you would have a little more sympathy for your country folk, Jessica Jade. I and a little give two shits, Mark. That's why I'll never win. I don't give two fucking shits about Santa. <laughs> you will I lose. don't give a flying fuck. In fact, you know what I'm wearing right now, Mark? I'm actually wearing a USA hockey jersey. How You're going to lose. Mean? You're going to lost. See, Mark... That's the problem. You know so, I'm a lot yeah. like Teflon. It's very hard to make things stick to me. No. Mm. That oh, was that actually was. his voice. So he yeah. couldn't. So <laughs> is he still on the line? He's gone. Do you ever remember that? Uh, okay. Tim, why, 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 uh, why does... What? Tara knows all about you, huh? She's on to you. Yeah, she wants to fly out to Boston. And now you see what a piece of shit Jessica Jade is. Listen, I love Jessica Jade. To Go sell on. Jessica Jade and another I, mother's I, children out for her own. That's pretty scummy. To sell them out for the promise of free dental care covered by Jimmer's insurance and oh. then to not get any of it. Jammer care. Fucking makes me sick. Coverage. You're like one of those serial killers that pulls a chick's teeth before you bury her, aren't you? you well, that's the, you're going to get caught God. if she has teeth. teeth. Just to make her fucking mouth a little even. I, I think that was funny there, Galista. Quick toothless <laughs> blowjob. I don't give a fuck, Mark. You know the Nazis, they didn't even pull everybody's teeth out like that? That's crazy. <laughs> Only if they had gold in them, man. We were picky. Oh, uh, yeah. You got six million people. Your journey. Six million people. Six million people times thirty-two. Y'all check out my live stream next week. I'm interviewing John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> I mean, any interview with John Benet Ramsey is not. Uh, what year is this? I think that was like '99 or 2000. That was a long time ago. Where did I put my butane? Oh, are you gonna cook up one of those dabs? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like mainlining THC? That's like the <laughs> yeah, the shit that I got right now is like ninety-eight percent. 
Mm, I know. Jesus Mark, Christ. Mark oh, it's like right that, there. That cuts into his, uh, you know, pharmaceutical business. Yeah, you don't like the marijuana up there, huh? No, fuck that. No, I'm cool with marijuana. I don't smoke it, but... No, you're not cool with it, Mark. Shut up. I'm smoking oh, chocolate ass man. Profits. Shut up, you fat fuck. We'll make money off of it when it's worth something. Don't worry. Yeah, when it's synthetic. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Mark was, yeah, you know Mark was selling bath salts to fucking kids. You know that, right? I sold them to you. That's what happened. Now you're like this. Yeah, so now I am a multi-hundred air business mogul. Yeah, trying to sell Gary, Indiana from somewhere in Quebec for 175 <laughs> bucks. The Louisiana Purchase was a better deal, you goof. Jessica really. always seems like she's crying. It, it was, you know, Mark. Did you two fucks rehearse this shit? what the market gives. Is that Canadian or American? I'm thinking about your deal. It's American. Way too much. Stick to the script. We will accept um, gold, though. If you have gold or silver, you know, coins or bars. Any, we'll any kind of shekel. That's right. Anything. Truth be told, I'll take traveler's checks. I don't really care. I'll you bet you what currency there, man. The fiat currency. I know. I really don't want the fiat currency because you know I've been very fortunate to listen to Professor Tarpley's, uh, you know, shows and read his books. So I would really prefer you know hard currency, preferably on a gold standard, something with you know intrinsic value. Uh, what intrinsic is your name, uh, value, cryptocurrency, think... yeah, Matt, manager. What about the <laughs> cryptocurrency? Anyone know any good impression? It's not, it's not tangible. It's all on a fucking computer. I like things like gold because, you know, worst case scenario, if impression if battle off, gold's not worth go. anything, I could at least, you know, use it to make like semiconductors and shit. And bring it to a pawn shop. I can bring it to a pawn shop. I can make a necklace. I can make, you know, grills. That it. might be something we do. We try uh, you know, a prototype. E and L go grill. Like you could use that gold. You could use that gold to to fix the teeth on the women you have. <laughs> I'd use that gold to fix Jessica Jade's teeth. I get them all nice, a nice even color of yellow. That would be. A start. She's always crying about her teeth. That's why she's always crying. I fucking hate them. She has shark teeth. There's rows of teeth. Look at them. If you have teeth. You know, of a fucking secret. All right, I guess that's a pass. Uh, manager, Don I mean, Johnson. He actually does no. have teeth of a cone head. Anything that's that's I've noticed. Cut like, with look, a rotary you can't tool. Have teeth of a prehistoric animal. Like, does she understand that her teeth are. They predate human? Like, she you know that you, you've spent, in the, you've spent uh, the more grass. time worrying about her teeth than I think she has. That's bizarre and obscure. No, she's even said she's sensitive about her teeth. We've heard it before. That's why I go after them, Mark. See, I like to fucking dig oh, in shit. when a wound is open and open it up a little bit more. That's what I like. Yeah, get a bunch of AIDS up in there. That's psychopathic. No, it's just, you know, you stick your thumb in and you open it up a little bit more. You're a fucking weird dude, you know that? Oh, I know. I'm fucking crazy. Lista. I'm crazy. See, Mark, this is what happens when you have too many concussions. You know, you you just you go crazy. You know the CE. Oh, CEO. we're getting to the concussion portion of the show. <laughs> just wait. You know, Mark, I was hitting the head with a baseball bat uh, when I was like 21. I can only imagine why. Uh, books. It was actually is this a, is this for real practice. Is this real talk? <laughs> You have had a baseball bat to the head. Yes, I have, actually. It was huh. at baseball. Huh. Okay. It, this explains a lot. Here's what's crazy, too, by the way. I used to be a C- minus student before that. And after that, I'm now like a B-plus average. So That's because they put you in fucking retards. Whose dick you suck funny. for that? No, I'm yeah, in man. university, man. I mean, he is referred dick sucking a lot. I was gonna point that out. He loves it. Yeah, Mark loves sucking. Talking about sucking cock, it's really. I know it's the Dan E. Dog oh, guy. Sorry, I, I thought it was Mark. Normally, Mark is making you know homosexual remarks. We just kind of no, that's Matthew Weaver. Him for who he is at this point. I really don't want a lawsuit. You know, here at the E. N. Ellis Corporation, we're very tolerant and accepting of everyone's personal life choices. Manager, you got nothing in your nose. We actually offer 
We actually offered to tenured employees free sex transition surgery, paid for by our insurance. How about that, Mark? You can become a man, a woman, a stingray, whatever you want. Is that like one of those wig commercials where you're the first successful customer and now you advertise it? What do you mean? Gotcha. The transition. Why would I be in the commercials? I'm a CEO, Mark. I have other things to do, like represent the company. Yeah, but you get on there. there. Like, yeah, we the have the transition. I was the first the CEO of Pepsi. Hey, hey, hey. Why would you ask me that? Scuffed Bake Alaska. You no, know, Mark, I come to you because Mark, you, you listen, that reference is a little dated. It is and a little you're dated. you're showing me you don't know anything. All right. We got to wrap this one. All right, I'm blue. the head injuries there, Matt. Come on. Matt, I'm sorry Mark ruined your show. I have to apologize. Oh, it hey, went swillingly. I'm please. glad Mark got involved tonight. Yes, scuffed baked Alaska. Final word. CEO, can yes. I ask you a question? Go ahead. All right. All I want to know is... Baked Alaska. He opened it. I guess you. that's it. You've been opied. Well, all right, guys. All right, I'm Bleach. Have a good week, manager. Be sure to fuck up a couple podcasts this week. I'm sure you. Ross Dog it. Army, subscribe and like. Join the. Call. Absolutely, up. I concur. We really appreciate Danny Ross and all his hard work. Yeah. Rockstar Games. No, I, can't I really see do. Him. I actually like his videos. I'm not. I'm not even saying that as a joke. Well, I'm the new general, so he needs to chill out. Hey, man. All righty. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. It's been another fun show. Uh, check out all the archive. When they uh, when they drop, I'll have them out by like 10 a.m. tomorrow. Cause it's Mother's Day, I gotta do some Mother's Day stuff. <laughs>